What's up everyone? Today I want to talk about a man I have known for about half a year now and I met him and he's a very interesting man. You know all those stories about people who are just very happy and they're poor or they're in third world countries or they're in developing countries. Um, I mean I've heard and seen a lot of those stories. People who have cancer or they have no limbs or their face is deformed or whatever else happened they're crippled and they're very very happy now having said all this you know it's obviously a great lesson in terms of happiness which I will dive in depth in later on in this video but uh, understand that this is something that doesn't always occur I also know a lot of people who are in situations like this with deformed faces and so forth who has still yet to come to terms completely with this and there's a lot of resentment anger and uh, jealousy still inside of them and some of it is it's tough to deal with I understand it's very tough to get through and so it's one of those things where it's not a given it's not just something where everyone who has these um, problems that we don't have in life they're not automatically just happy uh, sometimes they have to go through a lot of struggles and come to terms with that I do know a lot of motivational speakers who are now, after they've gone through 30 or 40 years of life, who have really come to terms with it, who are very happy, who see their disadvantages not as disadvantages, but as advantages, and they truly believe that. Um, but at the same time, you have to realize that, uh, you know, this is something that's uh, it's tough to get through. But at the same time, you, you can really understand that this is uh, something that's actually uh, it can actually bring happiness so without further ado let's dive in depth into um, what is uh, this man so I met this man right and basically this is a man who for uh, right now in his life and I don't know for how long but perhaps to the distant future and I've met people like this a lot he has a low-income job and for him it's a great job and he is one of the happiest people I've ever met he's always happy he's always smiling and he does what he does and enjoys it a lot of people doing what he do, do um, would be frustrated or angry or they would find this uh, low class or beneath them or very frustrating or very tough but he enjoys what he does and he's always very happy he has a wife and um, a child and it just goes to show you that in terms of happiness this is something that um, it, it's something that's irrespective of income it's a great lesson and I once asked him and here's probably the most important lesson you can take from this video I asked him about his happiness and how he does it and he says his English was pretty scattered but he told me I take everything bad and I turn it good his English wasn't that good but the, the that was just really inspiring for me and uh, it really made me think you know some people I've met and they're just they naturally are happy and they luck out in life for him that may be the case as well but I wasn't expecting that from him because that's something you get from someone who's been through a lot of struggles or maybe just um, gets a lot of bad things in life and has changed his mindset to adapt to them um, but for him it just seemed like he was always just a very happy person and uh, people like him and I've met others uh, who have come from developing countries uh, I think a lot of things for him uh, it made it seem that so that his current job it's not something for him that he views as really a low tier like in certain ways I think he knows that it is but he's just really happy where he is and I think you know uh, when you look at the world globally even the low tier jobs uh, that you take in developed countries compared to developing countries they're still getting paid more so um, in terms of like this superficial thing that uh, we we ascribe to class and structure that can really warp people and make um, make people judge people and bring about all these distinctions and cause a lot of envy and jealousy and resentment and all this stuff I mean it's just very interesting seeing it from his perspective so 
long story short, if you learn nothing else from this video, uh, just take that in mind. He takes everything bad that happens to him, all the negative, and he turns it good. Uh, I've heard the same philosophy from Will Smith. Uh, he talks a lot about this book called The Alchemist. And again, alchemy, the whole practice of this mythological thing, it was a very similar trait. It's basically this idea of turning lead into gold. And you've all heard the phrase, uh, turning lemons into lemonade. So uh, understand that and uh, start working on it. Um, and yeah, that's all I got to say. See you later in my next video and hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.